In this video, I'll be showing you how to get a Sony PlayStation 3 controller connected either via wired or wireless in XBMC in Ubuntu-based distros, or also counts for Linux-based distros as well. So this is the official Sony PlayStation 3 controller, but it also works with the uh, unofficial <laughs> Sony PlayStation 3 controllers. China's finest effort of producing a PS3-like controller for about £7 works though. So we need to download the drivers from Qt 6a. Now with Ubuntu, there's a handy repository you can go and add. So if I open up Terminal, and type in sudo add apt repository ppa colon fulk tk forward slash Qt 6a. Pop in your password. Now I've already added this one on my system, but let's just go and add it and it'll probably say, oh, in fact, it hasn't moaned at all. Then, then do sudo apt get update. Then lastly, sudo apt get install Qt 6a. Now to get it connected via Bluetooth, if you plug in the USB connection first, if you're only going to use it via USB, then you can skip the next few steps. Type in sudo 6 pair. Then you can disconnect the USB cable. Now type in 6AD. Now I just got to get the idea of the commands we need. Ah, I want to enable it to auto start at boot. Dash dash boot dash yes. Dash dash boot dash yes. Do sudo service 6AD restart. Now push the PS button on the PS3 controller. The lights will flash for a little while. And then it will vibrate to confirm it has connected. If yours doesn't connect, see a couple of notes in the description below that involve stopping the service and restarting it. If it still doesn't connect, there's probably something wrong with your Bluetooth device. Now you must have a Bluetooth device, I think, above version 2. Let me just check that. Ah, that seemed to say it must have a Bluetooth dongle, it must be version 2 or above. So if yours isn't, it won't work. Now we'll go and edit the XBMC keymap XML file. So to do that, if you open up the file manager, press Ctrl H to show hidden files, go to the .xbmc folder, user data, then keymaps. Create a new file called keymap.xml. Now filled in most of the information over here on the XBMC wiki page. Just go down to it. So the Sony PlayStation 3 six axis controller section. So that's the buttons and this is the code we need for that key map XML file. So I'll copy that and go and paste it in. Now I need one last piece of information for the Mac address there. So open up terminal again and type in cat forward slash proc bus input devices press enter you might have to scroll up and down a bit depends where it is on your screen here but the section we are after is PlayStation 3 controller and the number at the end of that so that will be the number that you put there but because I wrote that section of the wiki page I put on my Bluetooth Mac address which is what that number is. So I'll save it. If you've got one of those fake PlayStation 3 controllers, use this program here, JS Test GTK, and it'll give you the information about which buttons you have on the controller. If you push a button on the controller, it shows which button number has been pressed. Mine didn't correspond directly to that one, so what do I have to do? Uh, select was button one. So I just had to add one to the button number. Don't know why, it just happens like that. Anyway, let's open up XBMC. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Scrolling with the PS3 controller, and I'm sorry you can't see that part in the video. One part to double check. If you haven't gone to, if you haven't gone to system settings and input devices, make sure you hadn't gone and disabled the joystick and gamepad support like I had done the first time around, wondering why this wouldn't work. Anyway, that is how you get a Sony PS3 6-axis controller working with XBMC. So thanks for watching, see you later.